Since 2013, my team and I have mentored over 4,500 agencies from around the globe in every niche imaginable. And during this time, we've cracked the code on what works and what doesn't to scale digital agencies past 20K a month and all the way up to 100,000 a month. What if I told you that charging high ticket pricing like three, five, or 10K a month is actually not the best way to scale your digital agency in 2024? In fact, this common belief might be holding you back. Today, I'm gonna share an approach that's working right now for so many of my clients so all you have to do is watch this entire video, implement everything I say, and I guarantee you'll see a huge spike in revenue for your agency. I'm Troy Dean, and I've spent years working with agency owners just like you. I've seen the struggles firsthand, the endless hustle, the constant worry about landing big clients, and the frustration of hitting plateaus. It's like trying to box a kangaroo with your hands tied behind your back. But here's the thing. There's a simpler way to reach that 100,000 a month goal. It's a method that goes against everything you've probably heard about scaling an agency. So many agency owners are stuck in the 20K to 50K range, burning out and wondering if they'll ever break through, but it just doesn't have to be that way. If you're an agency owner already with some level of success, but looking to scale further, you're 100% committed to growing your agency, this is not some kind of side hustle, and you're ready to scale to 50K or 100K a month plus, then the strategies in this video are tailor-made for you. So let's get into it. The first concept I'm about to explain is the biggest mistake I see 90% of agency owners make, and it's why you can't sign clients. So tell me if this sounds familiar. You hop on a discovery call with a prospect, you ask all the standard questions, and at the end of the call, you go straight to pitching your high ticket retainer or project, but they don't close. And it's not because you're not good at what you do. It's not because you don't have results. It's because of something I call client resistance. So just imagine you're at a networking event and someone immediately tries to sell you their most expensive thing. How do you feel? Skeptical, right? Maybe even a little confused and awkward. And that's exactly how potential clients feel when agencies push for big projects or retainers right off the bat. The client resistance is the core problem holding many agencies back. The consequences of not addressing this issue are serious. First, there's the obvious problem of stunted growth. You're working harder, not smarter, and your revenue flatlines. But also, there's a hidden cost, burnout. When you're constantly fighting an uphill battle, it takes a toll on your energy and your enthusiasm. And here's the kicker. Signing clients in 2024 is way harder than it was just a few years ago. We're in what I call an agency recession. The old playbook just doesn't work anymore. Clients are more cautious with their budgets, and there's a lot more competition. But don't worry, there is a solution. Instead of trying to land huge retainers right away, what if there was a way to get your foot in the door first? A method that builds trust and proves your value before asking for a big commitment. This approach has helped hundreds of agencies break out of the 20 to 50K range and scale to 100,000 a month and beyond. It's all about reducing that initial client resistance and opening doors that were previously closed. I'm gonna reveal exactly what this method is and how you can implement it in your agency, and trust me, it's gonna change the way you think about scaling your business. It's a strategy that might seem counterintuitive at first, but it works like magic. This strategy has been a game changer for many agencies. It helped my client Simon Chin land multiple 12 month contracts, including one worth 70 grand a year, as well as Kelly Berryman, who within six weeks of taking our training, landed three 12 month growth plans. So what's the key? Start with low ticket one-time offers, or what I call the paid discovery process. Now you're probably thinking, how am I supposed to scale my agency by charging less and if they aren't even retainers? And hear me out, this approach is all about reducing that initial client resistance we talked about earlier. Think of it like dating. You wouldn't propose marriage on the first date, right? And that's essentially what you're doing when you try to sell a huge retainer right off the bat. Instead, we're gonna start with a coffee date, something low pressure that lets your potential client get to know you and see your value firsthand. These low ticket offers are like your agency's foot in the door. They're typically priced between 500 and five grand depending on your niche and your target market. Some examples could be a comprehensive digital marketing audit, 30 day social media growth plan, a conversion rate optimization roadmap, a brand messaging strategy session. The beauty of these offers is that they provide massive value to the client while allowing you to showcase your expertise. So it's a win-win situation. The key is to price them low enough that it's an easy yes for the client, but high enough that you're compensated for your time and expertise. And you might be wondering, okay, but how do I transition from these low ticket offers to the big retainers or projects? Well, great question. It's actually a lot simpler than you might think. Once you've delivered your low ticket offer and the client sees the value you provide, you're in a perfect position to upgrade. You've built trust, 
demonstrated your expertise and shown them what you can do. And at this point, pitching a three to 10K per month package doesn't feel like a hard sell. It feels like the logical next step. The key is to build this transition into your process. When you deliver the results of your low ticket offer, include a section on next steps or recommendations. This is where you outline what it would look like to work with you and your team on an ongoing basis. And here's the really exciting part. When you implement this strategy correctly, you can see conversion rates as high as 85% from low ticket to high ticket clients. That means for every 10 low ticket clients you work with, eight or nine of them could become long-term high paying retainer clients. All right, now that we've covered the power of low ticket offers, you obviously need to know how to actually find and acquire new leads and customers. Your offer doesn't matter one bit unless you're actually actively acquiring new clients. So I'm gonna break down the practical steps you need to take from generating leads to closing high ticket deals. First up, let's talk about lead generation. In today's market, where there are 10 different social media platforms and a hundred different client acquisition methods, you need a multi-pronged approach and you need to be omnipresent. One effective method is creating SEO optimized YouTube videos. These act as 24 seven salespeople for your agency, attracting potential clients while you sleep. But don't just create content and hope for the best. Optimize your titles, descriptions, and tags with keywords that your ideal clients are actually searching for. And here's where many agency owners miss out. Content repurposing. Turn it into a blog post. Take snippets from it and create social media posts for LinkedIn and Twitter, or whatever it's called these days. This approach maximizes your reach and positions you as an authority in your niche. Another powerful method is high volume cold emailing. Now, yep, I know what you're thinking. Cold email, does that even work anymore? Yes, when done right, it's incredibly effective. The key is to personalize your emails and provide immediate value. Don't just pitch your services, offer a quick tip or insight that can help their business right away. Now let's talk about an often overlooked but crucial element, strong sales assets. Case studies are your secret weapon here. They're not just success stories, they're proof that you can deliver results. When a potential client sees how you've helped businesses similar to theirs, it's much easier for them to envision working with you. And here's a quick tip for creating compelling case studies. Focus on specific measurable results. I'll use my own case studies as examples here. We helped Brett Stone from Stone Digital increase his monthly recurring revenue from zero to 25 grand a month using the paid discovery method in the first three months. Or Simon Kelly, who we helped grow from 400K to over a million in annual recurring revenue in less than 12 months. Yes, now these are real case studies and real results, and we have a bunch more. Another important aspect to consider is your offer. It needs to be a direct response style offer. Let me explain. This is where you spell out exactly what the client gets, how much it costs, and what results they can expect. Be specific and bold with your claims, but please make sure you can back them up. For example, our 30-day social media accelerator will double your engagement and increase your leads by at least 25% guaranteed. Now, speaking of guarantees, they are a powerful tool for overcoming client objections. A strong guarantee shows that you're confident in your abilities and removes the risk for the client. Just make sure it's something you can actually deliver on. For example, our Recurring Revenue Accelerator guarantee is this. If you join Recurring Revenue Accelerator, we guarantee you'll see a return on your investment in 120 days or we'll work with you for free until you do. Now, this minimizes the risk for the prospect and shifts it onto you, the agency. We've been able to deliver on this guarantee time and time again, and we're confident in our programs, which is why we're able to do this. And you should be able to say the same. So you now know what offers you should be pitching, what client acquisition methods you should use, and how to actually sign clients. Once you know what you're doing, this stuff is the easy part, and I've helped thousands of agency owners do it. The thing you should be chasing after is freedom within your agency. You need to be able to scale the business while also spending time with your family and living the life that you dreamed of when you started your agency in the first place. Otherwise, what's the point, really? I've helped hundreds of agency owners go from stressed and overworked to thriving and balanced, and by knowing how to implement proper systems within your business, make the right hires and grow an actual business, not a one man band, you can do the same. And that's why I created Agency Mavericks. We coach digital agency owners through the process of increasing their recurring revenue so they can afford to hire a team of A players and scale an agency that runs without them. We provide step-by-step -step support, templates and strategies to help you implement everything we've discussed. Plus, you'll join a community of like-minded agency owners all working towards the same goal. Imagine being able to predictably scale your agency while working with better quality clients, having a happier, higher performing team, more efficient processes, higher profit margins, and less stress. 
That's what we help our clients do. Since 2013, we've mentored over 4,500 agencies from around the globe, like Thomas Amos in the UK, who achieved a record nine paid discovery clients in one month, converting five of those into growth plans, totaling nine and a half thousand pounds in new recurring revenue. And Peter Wright, who we helped sign a $40,000 website project through the paid discovery process. Or Simon Major, who has tripled his seven figure agency since working with us. These are just a few of the results from the agency owners who have gone through our programs. We have a page on our website with dozens more. So please feel free to check it out. So if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you scale your agency, guaranteed, then book a time to talk with someone on the team. The link will be the first in the description. I'm Troy Dean, let's get to work.